President Tuari Museveni and his guests discussed a wide range of issues with the main focus on developing the export of agro-products to Britain. He assured them that government was fully committed towards ensuring high-quality agro-products for export. And that's what I'm telling you, these people to target that. You, you get about $5,000 from your one acre for coffee or, or fruits or the, the high values. That's all. Otherwise, they can do anything. And then the next thing you, you look out for is the, is the quality, the post-harvest man management, which we can work on. He said that an investor, Lord Benjamin Mancroft, was planning to build a $150 million, 300-bed hospital in Hoima to save Ugandans from traveling abroad for medical tourism. The British Prime Minister's trade envoy to Uganda, Lord Dola Popat, expressed his sympathy to President Museveni and the citizens over the recent terror attacks. He said his government is interested in the purchase of various products from Uganda, including coffee, maize, sugar, wheat and barley. Agriculture, in fact, is Uganda's culture, basically. Um, and we now have a company in the UK who is willing to acquire 10 tons on a daily basis. And we have now got a supply chain here in Uganda who can supply 10 tons of agriculture seven days a week. We had a meeting with the minister who works on Uganda Airways taking 10 tons of cargo on a daily basis. And they wanted, the buyers wanted a fixed price contract for the next two or three years. They're willing to pay all up front. Uh, that's one area that we have made some progress. And we'd like to buy as much as we possibly can of your coffee and export it to Britain and other countries around the world. We think there's a huge market uh, for Ugandan coffee in, in Britain, which has not yet been exploited. The British High Commissioner to Uganda, Her Excellency Kate Airy, briefed President Museveni on the progress of the proposed expansion of electricity generation and transmission. Dennis Igor, for UBC News.